Hello guys, um, and one of my businesses is Brilliant Massage and Skincare, and we offer facials and, and peels and um, all that good stuff. Uh, and sometimes people can break out or have a reaction to a skincare product. Now that is, and not super often, but that happens, especially with retinol, people get dry. That's not such a bad thing because eventually your skin get used to it. But what to do if you really not just like maybe dry, but what if you're breaking out? One time I really broke out really bad from Adapalene. It was proactive with Adapalene in it. And uh, it was just crazy. I never had such a bad, bad breakout in my lifetime. And I knew I was... Probably allergic, you know. I was, I was gonna like, oh, I'm gonna just purge it out and wait, but no, it kept getting worse. And my husband said to stop using it. I'm like, no, I'll give it another couple of days. And oh my god, you know, I had to stop. It was embarrassing to leave the house. So that was not something that didn't work for my skin. But sometimes, like, I'll have a mask, and next day I'll have a couple of pimples like this. I did yesterday zinc and sulfur mask, and now I have a little pimple here, and here. What happens with that, that is just purging, you know, that's not a reaction, which those pimples are usually there and there, there are not that many of them, and they usually go away quick, they're not like serious. So that's, you know, that's purging. What happens, like accelerated exfoliation happens with the certain peels, masks, um, acids, retinols, and if you're, you know, your skin, then you're exposing, exfoliating, exposing that sebum, dirt, whatever was underneath was going to come out. It comes out kind of earlier. Um, that's called purging, you know. So that's how I know, like, usually if it keeps getting worse and it's chem pretty intense, then you're allergic or there's something that you, you should be... Maybe go to dermatologist if they prescribe you something and you're getting such a bad reaction, you know, maybe that's not purging. That That is something that maybe needs to be changed. You need to stop that product. But if you get kind of pimples in the areas that you already usually break out, like I, I would be maybe here, that's probably purging, you know. And if they go away, start to go away pretty quick, that's purging. Now, to avoid that, you could use less... A concentrated ingredients like not such a strong concentration retinol or acids because that will slow down you could rather use them more often versus like you know a strong concentration all at once less often so your skin is doesn't have that shock you know of that rapid exfoliation you kind of you train it to get used to it over time, over like you start maybe once a week a little bit and you could dilute, you know, skincare ingredients. You could mix it with another serums, you know, what hyaluronic acid, what not, um, just like with moisturizer, different acids or retinols to kind of with that initial purging reaction and just spread it over time to make it slower. Um, yeah, and... Um, other than that, you know, I think, I can't remember anything else. I mean, some people um, shoot the ingredient too quick where they, oh no, like I broke out a little bit. In dermatologists say four to six weeks. That's kind of long for me, I think. For me, I would say just maybe a couple weeks. That should be it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to show this video more. And you can um, also uh, follow me on Instagram at Yulita Brilliant. I would love to connect and um, post any questions in your experience, whatever products that you had before, um, if you had purged and how long did it took. I'm really generally curious to know how long it took to get used to it and um, or if you had to stop it completely let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time have a brilliant day